There's no question that sound effects can add a lot to our video. But a lot of the time, when we go on websites that say they offer free sound effects, when we look a little bit closer, we see that's not really the case. They're free only for non-commercial use, which means you can't use them for YouTube videos. Oh, free sounds, but only for non-commercial use. Free sound effects, but non-commercial only. Or they require you to provide attribution, which means a credit to the source or even a link to the source's website. Or the licensing agreement is very complicated. I personally am not interested in having anything on my hard drive that I can't use any way I want in my videos and in my music. You could say I don't really care about licensing, but YouTube might care. They have algorithms patrolling all the time looking for copyright violations. And what's more important, somebody spent time creating sound effects and creativity creating sound effects, and you shouldn't use their stuff when you don't have the right to. Why horse around with dodgy sound effects when I can show you ways to find them with no strings attached? Here are four of the places I like to go to find free sound effects. This is free sound. It's the first site I go to when I'm looking for sounds, and I almost always find what I'm looking for here. Um, it's a site that's set up of Creative Commons sounds, which recordists have put their sounds into the public domain. There's real people behind each one of these sounds and they're saying this is mine i created it and i'm giving it this particular license so you can use it so what kind of licenses are there if i want to know that i'm going to double click this magnifying glass and at this point you can see they they have four license attribution where you got to give credit attribution where you can't put it in your YouTube video, and Creative Commons Zero. That's the one I want. Because Creative Commons Zero means no rights reserved. You can use it any way you want. And this thing, by, by setting up that filter, you now can only see the 242,000 plus sounds that are on free sound, but have the Creative Commons Zero setup. There's lots of other filters you can use. You can, I could also filter it by wave. You know, I can get it. So now I only have Creative Commons Zero and wave. And there's lots of other things. They have um, sample rate and bit depth and bit rate. Do you want a stereo file? Do you want a mono file? You can go all the way up to six channel files. At the beginning of the video, I used this zombie uh, sound effect which came from here. And as you can see, there are 480 zombie sounds. So generally when you're looking for stuff, you just get a lot here. And I had one woman zombie at the beginning and I needed one in something that just sounded like one person. So I found this one. Yeah, you know, and there's just everything here. Oh, that's nice. And uh, here's even yeah. more grunts. Yeah. 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 Even though you don't have to credit them under this uh, Creative Commons license, this is a community. So you can see how many stars people gave it and you can rate these things yourself. It's a cool place. It's where I go and I, I usually find what I'm looking for. Moving beyond Creative Commons Zero, I'm going to show you how to find more sounds that you can put into your projects. But you can't resell them or monetize them directly. They must be incorporated into something else that you make. Soundly is a paid monthly service, but they have a free membership which gives you 2,500 searchable free sounds. 
That's not a lot compared to the 240,000 CCO sounds and free sound, but the quality is very high. The user interface is much nicer, and you could do things like drag and drop samples right into your tracks, and you can even select which part of the sample you want. This is really useful for stuff like Foley. You have the same rights to these sounds as you would if you had a paid membership, just less of them. You do have to download an app to get to them, but that's not a big deal for me. The sounds on Mix Kit have very generous licensing, similar to photo sites like Pixabay and Unsplash. Attribution is appreciated, but not required. Obviously, there's a lot less sounds than free sound, but as with Soundly, sometimes it's an advantage to have less things to search through. You do get results from the paid Envato Elements site, but you can ignore them. A lot of you know that YouTube has a free music library, but you may not know it also has a sound effects library. But if you go to the link on social media or even on its YouTube channel, it takes you nowhere. You can only find it in your account right here. The reason I'm listing the YouTube sound effects library fourth is because YouTube has attribution built into some of their sounds and music files. And if you use it, they may stick the attribution into your video. I would have no problem taking one of these sounds and putting it into a specific YouTube video, but I won't drag them into my desktop and forget about where they came from. There are also tons of freebies that you can find online as one-time downloads. Sonus is a kind of marketplace for sound design and other things. Every year they give away lots of free sound effects during the Game Developers Conference. So if you go to the link I have below, you can download huge collections from 2015 through 2020. Maybe there will be even more by the time you watch this video. After Sonus, Adobe Creative Cloud is the best collection of free sounds I've found yet. In some ways, the Adobe sounds are even more useful than Sonus because they are organized in folders that make them easy to find what you're looking for. While the Adobe licensing isn't crystal clear, there's nothing in there that states you can't use them commercially or that they require attribution. So I feel fine using them. Like Sonus, We Sound Effects offers a huge collection of over 25 gigabytes of sound effects. I'm only listing this third because I just discovered this as I was finishing up this video and I haven't had any time to use these sounds yet or even really explore them. Glitch machines have some of my very favorite sound effects that you can get. They are amazing, unusual, and this is a free collection. They're so good that even a record-breaking cheapskate like me bought some of their collections when they went on sale. You can also get a free month of sound effects by signing up for Soundly or Epidemic Sound or Audio Hero. And I mean, that's 90 days of free downloads. Just make sure you cancel your membership before your free trials run out. Some pro sound effects companies will send you freebies every month if you sign up for their newsletters. Some of them even offer free collections directly on their site. One easy way to get links to a lot of good sound designers is to go to the Black Friday post I do every year on VI Control. So each November, you can go there and see what all the current sales are, and you can also go anytime and see what the sales were like on the previous Black Friday. Thanks for listening. This is Tiger the Frog.